Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my friends? Hope you all are doing good. School holidays have started here in Melbourne. Keeping children busy and happy and making sure that they do not spend too much time in front of a screen seems like a big task. Painting is something that both my kids enjoy a lot. But these tiny brains get bored really fast. So we took a short walk around our house to explore the nature and get inspirations to paint something different. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the different types of paintings we tried. I hope this becomes useful to you. And let's get started. Firstly, we are going to do leaf painting and printing. For that, we have taken a big leaf. Haya is painting on the back side of the leaf using contrasting colors. Fresh leaves will work better. Dried autumn leaves are too brittle and they will break. Once the painting is over, all we have to do is place it onto a paper and start gently pressing it. Once the leaf is removed, if it looks a little incomplete, add more paint onto the leaf and repeat. There you go, it is ready. I gave it a border with the same colors to make it look better. Nextly, we are doing leaf painting again, but this time with smaller leaves and letting Haya do it by herself and use her creative ideas. Most of the time, parents need activities that does not require a lot of organizing and preparing ahead. If you are looking for some activity that is easy, mess free and doesn't need any fancy item then this is definitely for you all you need is a leaf and some paint there you go another leaf printing is also ready next we are trying string pulling kids can make unique works of art by dipping string into paint and making pulled string art here I am submerging a piece of string into different colors of paint, leaving one end of the string to hold onto. Then placing it onto one side of a folded paper. Then I am folding the paper with the string inside and gently pulling the string. This is how it will look like when it is opened. Us adults can also do these kinds of arts. The process of making a pulled string art painting is captivating and mesmerizing and the results are just beautiful. Now this is just another activity that can be enjoyed by both kids as well as adults and the supplies required are only strings and paints. I highly recommend mums and dads out there to try this easy technique with your kids to make something you can feel proud of and stick on your walls to admire. And there you go, our string pulling art is ready. Next we are going to do a painting using cling wrap. For this we have used a heart shaped stencil and coloured paper. I placed the stencil over the paper and added paint onto the middle as shown. Once enough paint was added, we placed a piece of cling wrap over it and gently started to press with our fingers. We can always add more paint if it is needed. Once it is spread very well, it is time to remove the cling wrap. These kind of activities help to improve their motor skills. Completing art projects make them feel as though they have achieved something, thereby improving their confidence and self-esteem. So there you go, another easy artwork is ready. Next we are going to try spray painting. Now this is going to be an interesting and at the same time a little bit messy activity. 
So if you are working indoors, do make sure to cover the surface that you're working on. For this, I used a stencil that I cut out of white paper, a sun, clouds and grass. You could use anything else. Now I'm going to cover part by part and start spraying the paint wherever needed. This activity is going to help them learn problem solving as these spray bottles are difficult to press. They will start understanding that only practicing and practicing will make them better at it. I had made Haya to freely spray paint onto a paper just to get a better idea before starting this project. If you do not have pump paints, you could use a toothbrush that is dipped in paint. While spraying onto a particular surface, make sure to cover the other cutouts so that the colors do not mix up. Spray painting can also be done using leaves. All you have to do is place a leaf onto a paper and spray over it. You will get a nice pattern. Once all the spraying is over, I am gently removing the stencil. And there you go, our nature spray painting is ready. Children are not only innocent and curious, but also optimistic and joyful. Let's add some more color into their lives. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you liked it. Bye-bye.